guys, welcome to my kitchen. Um, for today's small group, what we're gonna do is we are going to talk about patterns and everyday things that we can find around our house, okay? So I wanted you to be able to see my counter really good um, because I'm gonna show you some patterns that I'm gonna make with things that I found in my house. The first thing is some hair bows. These are bobby pins that I like to put in my hair and I found some different ways that we can make patterns with them. So I have three different colors of hair bows. I have this color, which is dark pink, if you can see that. Oh, let's see if I can hold it in the right spot, dark pink. Then I have this color, which is silver. And then I have this color, which is light pink. Okay, so we're gonna make a pattern using those three different colors. So I'm gonna start with silver. I'm gonna lay a silver one on the counter. Then the next one I'm gonna add is light pink, then dark pink. Then what do you think will come next in my pattern? So we have silver, light pink, and dark pink. Hmm, so you're right, silver comes next. Next we have silver, then we're gonna repeat light pink, and what comes after light pink? Dark pink. Good, and so now you see the pattern. This is an A, B, C pattern because we're using three different objects. Silver, light pink, dark pink, silver, light pink, dark pink. Okay, now let me show you, move these over here. Some other things that I found, and these things I found in my kitchen, so that's why we're hanging out in my kitchen today. These are things that you probably have in your kitchen that you could even make patterns with. The first thing that I found is some silverware. Silverware is what we eat our food with. There's three basic types of silverware. We have a knife, like a butter knife, that we eat with. We have a spoon. A spoon is for like scooping up soup and that kind of thing. And then we have a fork with the tines on the end. So again, I have three different pieces of silverware, so we're gonna make an A, B, C pattern, okay? We're gonna start with the fork. So I'm gonna put the fork first. Then next, we're gonna have a spoon. And then next is the knife. And then to repeat that pattern, what do you think will come next in the pattern? Is it spoon? No, it's not spoon. You're right, it's fork. So we would put fork, and then comes spoon, and then last in our pattern is knife. All right, do you see our pattern? Fork, spoon, knife, fork, spoon, knife. That's another type of pattern, an ABC pattern that has three different objects, okay? Put those back. Now here's something else I have in my kitchen. This time we're gonna switch and we're gonna look at A, B patterns. Those are using two different objects. So I have some fruit, because I love to eat fruit, it's good for you. I have some oranges and some strawberries. Some oranges and some strawberries. So we're gonna make a pattern using my fruit. We'll put the orange first, then next will be a strawberry. So what do you think I need next in my pattern? You're right, I do, I need an orange next. So we have orange, strawberry, orange. What comes next? Strawberry, good job. Kind of scoot these a little closer together. And what comes after strawberry? Here it is, orange. And then at the very end of my pattern is strawberry. See if you can see all of those. Squish them really close. These are big oranges together. Okay, so let's say our pattern together. Orange, strawberry, orange, strawberry, orange, strawberry. That's an AB pattern because we're doing two different objects instead of three. All right, let's put our oranges back and our strawberries. And look friends, remember we talked about fruit in the shape of a ball? What about this orange? It's definitely in the shape of a ball. All right, the last thing I wanna show you is 
some bowls and some plates. I bet you have these in your kitchen. I eat ice cream in my bowl or salad or soup. I have some bowls and then I have some little plates like this. So we're gonna try making a pattern using the bowls and the plates. They're kind of big, so we won't be able to make a very large pattern. So we'll put plate first, plate. What comes after plate? We're gonna put bowl. So we have plate and bowl. So what do you think, let's move this over here, comes next in our pattern? Yes, we'll need another plate. And then we need another bowl, right, to make the pattern. So I'm gonna come over here so you can see it. Hold the camera up. You see that pattern? It's plate, bowl, plate, bowl. Again, that's another kind of ABC pattern because we use two different objects instead of three, okay? So for your assignment today, what I want you to do is I want you to go around your house and see what kinds of objects you can find in your house that you can make a pattern with. I'm sure you could find all kinds of different things. I want you to make two different kinds of patterns for me. I want you to make an ABC pattern kind of like what we did with our hair bows, remember? Using three different objects and repeat it, okay? So that's one pattern I want you to make. The second kind of pattern is an AB pattern and that's using two objects like we did with the oranges and the strawberries, okay? You can use, you don't have to do hair bows or fruits. You can use anything you find in your house that you think would be fun to make a pattern with, okay? Make sure mom and dad take a video or a picture and put it up on Dojo for me today, okay? All right, have fun making patterns and I'll see you soon. Bye.